Hi guys, welcome back to Simple Acre Homestead. My name is Bert, and today I'm going to be reinforcing my chicken slash rabbit tractors. I had some issues this year with a fox getting in and stealing some rabbits on me. I want to make sure that doesn't happen again. So these are tractors I'm working on that uh, I had purchased, used, and uh, they need to be uh, stronger. And I'll show you what I mean. So these tractors have typically what you see a lot is uh, chicken wire now what happened in the spring and I actually caught on a video camera was a fox come into the yard pulled on this chicken wire until he was able to pull it off the wood uh, or he or she and uh, took off with six six week old rabbits on me so we have some rabbits I want to get out of the garage and get them out on grass and before I do that, I'm going to uh, take these two chicken tractors that I have here. They're identical um, to each other. They're both eight feet long, two feet tall. Uh, so it'll be a quick, uh, a quick fix, but I uh, thought I'd show you what I'm doing here. So this is gonna take me a little while and Cindy's gonna do some editing and make sure it uh, doesn't seem like forever to you guys because I'm going to take, instead of going over this wire, which I could do to be the easiest, easiest way to do it, I'm going to pull all this off, pull all the staples off and then put on the new hardware cloth. The hardware cloth is so much tougher. I'm going to use uh, longer staples. These are just short staples that are in this wood as well, so which makes it easy for that fox to pull these, this fence apart. And uh, so that's my plan. And when I'm all done, uh, I'll show you. We'll get the rabbits out on grass and maybe I'll check out the uh, young meat rabbits. And so I guess I, guess I better get to work. Well, hopefully, I'll set this in a way that you can kind of see what's happening here. So I have started on this end. And I'm going to work away. Hopefully my microphone isn't picking up the kids. They're playing outside in a different area. Cindy and I have a policy in case you guys have wondered. We've mentioned the kids multiple times. We have four. They range from eight years old down to two years old. And uh, our motto has always been to keep them off the internet as far as uh, uh, we don't post pictures on Facebook or anything like that of our kids. And um, we have the same policy with our YouTube channel is we, uh, we try to keep their their lives private uh, as far as being on camera or posting pictures for their safety. Um, and so they're not imaginary; they do exist. Uh, and at some point, you'll probably you might catch a glimpse of them here and there. But we we do go out of our way to try to avoid uh, having them in our shots. Uh, I could just pull this wire off, but I'm trying to make sure I don't uh, lose any of these staples in the yard. So what I'm going to do, guys, uh, because obviously you don't want to see all of this work. You got the idea of what I'm doing here to start off. I'm going to go over here, pause the camera, and when I get to the point where I've got the wire, uh, the old wire off, I'll uh, bring you back to the, to the video. Hey guys, all right, I'm back. Uh, it's only a few seconds for you. It's probably a good half an hour, 45 minutes for me. Very tedious. These little magnetic bowls are pretty handy. So this thing is right full of staples. All I've done is tore the, the uh, chicken wire off the one tractor for now. I want to get it going and get it uh, ready for use. And I'm being blinded by the sun. So as you can see, Everything is uh, uh, carrying a tripod here as well, so it's not working so well, but all the wood is totally bare, all set to go. So what we're going to do is I'm going to bump into everything here with these long legs on this tripod. This is what we're going to go with, this uh, half inch hardware cloth, we're going to get that stapled on, and that should uh, make this 
uh, tractor a whole lot uh, more protected. So I'm going to cut that and get it ready to go on. So I will likely leave the camera on for all that and I might not say as much because Cindy will probably do some editing so you don't have to watch the whole thing because that would be pretty boring. I admit I probably wouldn't do it either. So I'm going to get started here. I'm going to put this back over here so I, I uh, hopefully get a, a decent picture. Um, now the sun is behind the camera so it's a little bit uh, difficult to look at it right now. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get started though. Some guys will use an angle grinder. Uh, zip this real quick, but for the amount that I have to do here, I'm going to just use these snips. Now earlier I mentioned about how we had a fox uh, take off with those rabbits and I had it on video, and I thought to myself, I should clarify that because it wasn't that I was standing there recording it, it was caught on one of our security cameras around the, the uh, homestead here. Okay guys, I'll hopefully get started on a stapling here. Let me just double check that you can even see me. Perfect. Alright, hopefully this is actually <coughs> nice and straight. So there is a, this end of the wire is actually, uh, um, has the pieces sticking out straight. So I'm just going to bend them around. I'm not going to cut them off. And then I'll just give me a little more wire to staple to. sun's going down fairly quickly so what I'll probably do tonight is staple these two sides on <clears throat> excuse me and then uh, uh, finish tomorrow morning bring you guys back out tomorrow morning and uh, do the end and, uh, and I'm going to find something still for the bottom just so that once the rabbits get a little bigger, because the females, when they get to be about 12 weeks, will start to dig out. Actually, we had some start earlier than that. So, in an effort to make them safer, as well as uh, stop them from escaping, I'll probably try to find something uh, with a larger size square to put on the bottom. And that will... Uh, keep the grass from getting uh, pushed down when we move the tractor around and allow the grass to come up through so the rabbits can still eat. It's almost set to start stapling here. Let's make sure everything's really close.
All right, guys. There's the there's the one side. I'm quite happy already with the results so far. It'll be much. <clears throat> it'll be a much uh, stronger line of defense. All right, guys, we have uh, the two sides done. I'm going to uh, wait and pick this up tomorrow morning because uh, I'm losing light fast. And uh, we got to complete it and get the, uh, the rabbits out in the grass. So uh, we'll pick it up there. Morning, guys. Um, it is the next day. I. Uh, I am wearing the same clothes. I basically got a bed at 6 this morning, jumped in the clothes from yesterday. I thought no sense um, changing until I get my tasks done this morning. Um, so I didn't start recording at that time of day because it was still a little uh, dark and uh, I need to get chores done. But what I did do this morning when I got up is I came out and the second tractor I've torn all the uh, staples and old chicken wire off of it. I've cut all the pieces needed to finish the job uh, so we don't have to edit all that out and uh, I've just started stapling everything back on so we'll get this done uh, don't forget to stay tuned until the end uh, that's when we'll bring out the baby rabbits uh, I call them babies they're not that young now but I uh, get them in the tractor and you can see how they react for their first time on grass um, so I'm going to get back to work. I'm going to pause this just to save a little bit of editing and bring you back when I get all the stapling done of the new wire. Okay. Hey guys, just thought I'd bring you back for a minute. I've uh, finished putting the uh, hardware cloth on the one chicken tractor. Thought I'd give you a quick look at it. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I'm not putting the bottoms on today. Um, took a look through what I have in the shop there and I don't have anything I feel happy about as far as the size of holes for the bottom I have a few weeks to deal with that um, we haven't really had any issues with predators digging so we're good fortunate there uh, the concern is more uh, keeping the rabbits from digging out males aren't really an issue that way it's the females uh, and not usually until they're I think we started having issues around 10 weeks so we got some time for that. Anyway, I'll show you quickly what we've got done so far. And, uh, and then I will get on to the second one, complete that, bring you back, and uh, we'll get the rabbits outside. So I'm just going to head over here to where I set the first tractor down. So you can see... All the uh, hardware cloth has been put around. Uh, this is a much stronger, I mean, uh, a fox isn't gonna get his teeth on that. Uh, Coon's not gonna get their hands through that. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty uh, confident we'll, we'll be okay there. I'll still keep it close to uh, the goat pen where we have Max, our, our guardian dog. Uh, just in case something's in the area, he'll he'll notify or scare them off. But uh, okay, so I'm gonna finish the next one. Probably be back in uh, 20 minutes or a half hour, which will only be a couple seconds on uh, YouTube time. But uh, I'll uh, I'll fit it, wrap this up for you. Hey guys, back again. So the second tractor has been completed. I gotta clean up my mess, but otherwise, as promised, um, I'm going to get the rabbits out here in their new home, or their temporary home, at least for the nice weather. Um, and they are six weeks and one day old today. Uh, their mother is more than done with them. They're weaned by this point and they're eating like crazy, so I'll put them in the tractor and uh, to watch them for a few minutes and this video and I have to get this camera back to Cindy because she is working on a video for you guys to do with 
freeze drying eggs. Uh, pretty cool. Um, anyway, that's her thing and I'm not going to spoil it. So I'm going to try to set this up in a way that you can uh, see what I'm doing here. Just a, a box full of cuddly love. Anyway, I'm gonna get them inside. Try to get you off this uh, tripod here, if I can figure it out. All right. So these guys will stay here, hopefully for another six weeks. It's their first time out on grass. As you can see, they're going to love it. So, like I said, for this tractor, the only thing I have to do still, or I would like to do, is um, put a bottom on it with probably at least a 2x2 two two square, uh, enough that uh, nothing could get in if something tried, and enough that the females, once they hit that 10-12 week mark and they start digging, uh, they're not going to dig out. So I'm a lot happier with this wire choice uh, the only thing i would do different if i built this myself and i may just modify it eventually is i would put a top that the whole thing lifts up uh, just for access because uh, being that three quarters of it is covered and shaded it makes it difficult to uh, to pick anything up whether it's chickens or rabbits without uh, somebody getting right in there or um, lifting it off of them so, as you can see, these guys are quite happy and Mama's got her space back and she'll have some time off. We're not going to be doing any breeding for a bit aside from the Holland Lops because our meat rabbit buck did pass away in the beginning of the summer when it was unfortunately extremely hot and uh, we, he had food and water and a fan, but he just couldn't take the heat. So we will keep some of these guys for a breeding stock to go with the other females and then introduce a new male for fresh blood line to our rabbitry. And uh, keep, keep going with the breeding at that point. So, as always guys, I, I hope you enjoy seeing what we do around here. Um, I do realize that this was not the most exciting thing, it's, it's work. But uh, a big part of having a homestead, no matter what size, is there is always, always something to do. So uh, if you would like our video, we'd appreciate it if you would join us on our journey and, and subscribe. That would be fantastic. So I'm going to wrap this up and give Cindy the camera back so that she can do the video that she's been making for you. She has started it. Uh, the process takes some time, over a couple days. Uh, start to finish just because of the uh, the freeze drying time so um, until next time be safe and we look forward to uh, bringing you along on our journey and continuing uh, to grow uh, and to learn as we go hey that's better for you guys not so good for me just realized the Sun was staring right at the camera um, so thanks a lot guys until next time.